This is GSRTB5. The objective here says to establish things using similarity and congruence, which is such a vague objective. Over the years I've learned that the best bridging between similarity to trigonometry, which is where we're going, are two things. One, the geometric mean, and the second is special right triangles. To me, this is how this objective is to be interpreted. So this first worksheet deals with something called a geometric mean. Now you've heard of the, a mean before. You, it's like an average. That's the arithmetic mean. So if you were given two numbers like 60 and 80 and you were asked for their arithmetic mean or usually just called the mean, you would take their values and add them together and divide by 2. Notice that the number 70 is exactly in the middle of 60 and, and 80. Now the geometric mean is uh, got a very geometric relationship which I'll show you on the computer in a little bit uh, some places where it's found. It is also a number that's between the two that you give it but it is not the same situation here. For instance, if the two numbers were 4 and 9 and you wanted the geometric mean between them, you don't add them together to get 13 divided by 2 to get 6.5. You create a proportion. 4 is to x as x is to 9. This proportion is very unique because the denominator's value and the numerator's value has to be the same number and it will be somewhere between 4 and 9. Now this number usually is a decimal, but in this case I pick some numbers that make this easy because 4 times 9 is 36 and we get a number of 6. Watch that if I put in that number 6 there in where the x's are, that I get actually a proportion that is the same. 4 6 is equal to 6 ninths. They're all 2 thirds. Um, this relationship is found in a right triangle where there are a number of overlapping similar triangles. We'll take a look at it. Quite a unique relationship. We already talked about what geometric mean is a little bit. Um, you can kind of find it in two forms. You can do it just with numbers or you can also look at the geometric relationship. Um, just again, the idea is that it sets up a very specific proportion and that proportion, I just think, is, is quite fascinating that, that you can find x, the, a number that is a denominator in one uh, ratio and the numerator in the other, and yet it maintains itself to be a value that would work. Um, geometric means typically are the positive of the, of the environment. So 2 is to 4 as 4 is to 8. They both equal 16 on the cross multiply. And so 4 is the geometric mean between them. Uh, here we would say 6 is to x is x is to 24. We get x squared equals 6 times 24, which is 12 times 12, 144. And we get our value 6 is to 12 as 12 is to 24. Proportions that work. And so on. These numbers are not always uh, nice numbers like this. Uh, by far, is it usually that way? So this is 50, 75. And we get x equals the square root of 75, which is 25 times 3. So x equals 5 root 3, which is some really ugly decimal. But uh, the point is, is that the geometric mean will always be between the 5 and the 15 in such a way that this proportion works. So where do these geometric means, where does this special relationship where the denominator and the numerator have the same variable? They come um, from uh, this awesome right triangle here and that when you drop the altitude what we find out is that three triangles basically exist. You have the left one, the right one, and then the large one. And if you pull these apart, you see how I've pulled them apart, the one on the left comparing it to the large one. I think you'll notice that these are similar. Uh, how we know they're similar, obviously, is by their angles, but they both share angle A and they both have a right angle. 
and so indeed they are uh, actually similar. And because they're similar, you can set up their proportions. So AB in this one is the hypotenuse, which goes between the x and the dot is to AC. And uh, let's see here, AD would go to, that of course is the same as AB. Now take a look, you see the geometric mean just pop out right there. Do you see how the numerator and the denominator happen to be the same? And so we get AB squared equals AB, A, sorry, A, yeah, AB, AD times AC. Took a minute there for my brain to unfreeze. <clears throat> and some some books and some teachers write it in this format already with the square root taken. I actually prefer this as the format. Now, um, what this comes down to, if, if I back up just a little bit to when the triangles are overlapping, let me show you what this geometric mean basically says, is that if you take AB and you square it, so if you multiply it times itself, you're going to get exactly the same number as if you multiply the piece formed between the out base of the altitude and the side times the entire side. So this side squared equals this piece times the entire piece. That's what this geometric mean is stating. And it can be used just like you would use it in a Pythagorean theorem or those kinds of things. I mean, anytime you have this environment, this relationship works. There are actually three geometric means, amazingly enough. This is the first one. Uh, the other is found in a very similar way. Let's uh, go the same route here. Here's our original uh, triangle. When we draw in the altitude, it forms, again, those three triangles. And this time, we're going to compare uh, the guy on the right here, this large one, BDC, to the entire one. And in the same way, we get AA. We get a right angle, and we also have the common angle C. So by AA, they're similar. And once they're similar, you and I can set up uh, some ratios. So our proportions, let's say BC here is the hypotenuse. It would go to AC. And uh, DC here is this uh, one between the X and the 90, and the X and the 90 would be BC. And there again, do you see it happening? Uh, and what's happening, why this is happening, why it can be the numerator in one case and the denominator in the other, is because the side BC represents different things in these two triangles. Here it represents the hypotenuse. And yet BC here is not the hypotenuse of this one, which is quite fascinating. So BC squared equals uh, DC times AC. Now this looks a lot like the other one, and it is a lot like the other one. Let's take a look at where this represents in the original triangle setup before they were taken apart. Basically it says this side squared, so kind of like the last one, is equal to its piece times the full piece. Actually this is the exact same relationship but from the other side. So the other one was this side squared equals its little piece times the whole. This is kind of like the reflection of that, doing it from the other side. The third and final geometric mean hiding in here comes in a similar manner. We start with uh, the original, we drop the altitude, it creates them, and then they split. We have a left and a right situation. In this case, we found that this one was similar to the big one. This one is similar to the big one. And so they must be similar to each other. But also you see how AA uh, certainly applies there. And let's just do this one. Uh, I have an AD here in this little guy. And it would match up with BD. And I have a BD in this one. And it would match up with DC. And once again, the third and final geometric mean is formed. This one's quite unique, different from the last two. You'll see why in a second. Um, it looks like the others, because something squared equals the product of two things. Um, how it is different is, of course, take a look at 
Uh, it's not about these two sides. It's about that altitude. And so that altitude is a geometric mean. There it is. It is the altitude squared equals the piece times the other piece. This is different than the other two. Very cool stuff. Um, I just wanted to show you where it came from. Um, let's write down the three of them, maybe. Um, well, yeah, let me, let me, let, let's do it in terms of a problem. I'm not going to do maybe the final math work, but I'll do the setup work on these. So I learned that when you have a right angle, uh, a right triangle, and then you drop its altitude, three geometric means are formed. And actually, in this case, X, Y, and Z are the three geometric means. And we learned that this side squared would equal four times 13. Be careful. Do you see how I had 13 and not 9? <clears throat> we learned that the other side, z squared, would be its piece, which is 9 times 13. And then finally, the altitude was the unique one. y squared equals 4 times 9. Now, I'm not going to multiply and take the square root and simplify those. I'm just trying to show you how to set things up. Now in this case, I do not know this geometric mean, nor this one, but I have this one. So that usually is a clue to start with it. So that side squared would equal the piece x times the whole length, which actually in this case is given, which is 10. This is 36 equals 10x, and then uh, 3.6 equals x. So this is 3.6. That leaves me with 6.4. And now I can solve the other ones. Y squared is the unique altitude one, where it's the multiplication of the two pieces. There they are. Again, I would solve that. And then Z squared equals its piece, 6.4, times the full length, 64. And actually, in this case, that's an easy number. 64 squared of that is 8. Uh, moving quickly, just to give you examples. Here again, this is the uh, geometric mean provided. Always start there. 5 squared equals x times 12. I divide 12 into 25 and get my value there. And then I'm going to use that number uh, to be able to solve the others. So I'd find that and then I'd be able to find the others. Here, uh, again, it's upside down, but this is a geometric mean. Z is a geometric mean. Y is a geometric mean. I would start with y squared equals 3 times the entire length Ah, 3 plus x, and so I get 81 equals 9 plus 3x. Move it over, solve, plug it in, and work out the others. So just remember that there are three geometric means. Let's see if I can go back to the original diagram. Um, one, one geometric mean is this side squared equals its piece times the whole. The other is on the opposite side. Over here, it's this side squared equals its piece times the whole. And then the final one, a unique environment, is the altitude squared is equal to the multiplication of its two pieces. Good luck with geometric mean.